Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel and like I said, I am getting the iPhone 10 as as you guys can see right now I do have it in my hands and I have not yet unboxed it. So with that being said, let's get straight into this unboxing All right, so first off guys, this is my first unboxing on my channel, especially for a new and anniversary edition iPhone, which is the iPhone 10 for 2017. So let's go ahead and try to smash up to 15 likes on this video. Go ahead and leave a like down below and comment something down below for a chance to get pinned in regards to the iPhone 10. If you guys like it or not, let me know you guys' comments down below to see what you guys think about the new iPhone. So with that being said, let's get straight into this unboxing. So first off, as you guys can see from the intro, we see the iPhone imprinted on the top and compared Compared to the last version, so for example, here is the 5S that I have. Uh, you really can't really tell that there's like an overlay above it. So let me actually check the 6S on the other hand. So on the 6S as well, there is a slight increase of a bump to signify that the iPhone 6S is popping out from the box. And I guess it's something new that they're doing, but on the iPhone 10, you can actually feel a little bit more of a bump on the actual picture itself to indicate that this is one of their new boxing styles. So I'm not actually gonna show you guys what's on the back right here because it actually is my carrier's information. But anyways, as you guys can see, I do have the 256 gig model, which is absolutely over the limit of what I actually do need. My iPhone 6S as of right now is at 126. And that's way, way too much for me. But anyways, I just wanted to get this since I didn't want to actually get the 64 gigabyte model. So let me go ahead and just peel that nice tape around it. And I'm gonna just toss this off to the side. And wow, actually getting the box was actually much different than my previous ones because most of the time when I'm actually taking out Apple products, I actually do have to apply some type of force on it. But anyways, here it is designed by Apple in California. Before I'm actually going to go ahead and look at the iPhone, let's go ahead and check out some of the stuff that they do include. So we got some nice information. Hello, a lot of the new things. So for example, the face ID is imprinted on here. Indication of how to actually use the home button and just the side panels and how to use the phone in general. Same stuff as you usually see on a regular iPhone. Nothing too new inside. And of course we do have the two Apple stickers that is included with every single iPhone. But here it is, the main deal is the iPhone 10 right here in my hands guys. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely insane. So I did get the white model as you guys can see. It looks absolutely insane. The FCC logos are not on here which makes it a really clean look. So you guys can see that there is the two cameras that are vertical. If you guys are not yet following along with the iPhone 10 videos, but as you guys can see, there it is. The stainless steel design, it looks really nice, especially on this iPhone. It actually does have some type of weight on it. I'm actually trying to not drop it myself right now because I do not want to break this. But let me go ahead and just leave off the iPhone 10 off to the side. And let's go ahead and check what's inside of the box. Of course, we have the standard AC adapter right here, as well as the AirPods, which now includes the, the lightning to aux cord, and as well as a lightning connector to charge the phone. But I'm just gonna be using my six foot cable that I got on Amazon, because I do not want to use this until I actually need to. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the iPhone 10. Let me go ahead and put this away, and let's see if this thing has some juice already installed. So let's check this out. All right, so here we go. We do have a boot up, so let's go and check it out. And oh my gosh, here it is, guys. Absolutely incredible. The bezel to bezel screen looks amazing. So there's the home button. Let me go ahead and just swipe up. Let's just actually go ahead and set up. Let's actually get to the home screen right now. So let me go ahead and just connect to my Wi-Fi and set everything up right now. So you've seen apps. Okay, we actually got it. And let's swipe up and to see how it actually works so first off looking at the phone it looks completely amazing to actually see the bezel to bezel of the screen display and in person it looks a lot different than actually on YouTube videos as you guys might have been seeing right now it actually is absolutely insane to see the contrast and all the colors on the screen let me go ahead and try to just zoom it in just to see if you guys can actually see it but you guys can actually see that there is a lot of new looking icons for some of the applications for the iPhone 10 exclusively but anyways guys let's go ahead and let me show you guys the 
control center as you guys can see swiping down from the top right activates it swiping up brings it home and swiping halfway up brings up the task manager so let me go ahead and open up settings and let me just go ahead and go halfway release and you guys can see that is the swipe selection right there and then if I wanted to go home, just swipe up all the way and you guys are back and good to go. Now, if you guys want to get to the notification center, if you guys haven't already seen, you guys can actually bring it down from the middle. You guys actually do not need to use it on the top left. That is something that Apple didn't actually say. They actually exclusively said to swipe down from the top left in order to bring down the notification center. But if you guys are not on the right hand side you can actually use the middle just to bring down into the notification center which is pretty awesome so let's go and check out the lock screen real quick and you guys can see we do have two icons that i believe should be customizable and if not i really do hope that apple does implement this in the future to actually change the settings on here because i would like to see some more options instead of having the flashlight so for example if i wanted the calculator app instead to actually use that instead now like i said in one of the previous updates that i have for my jailbreaking updates in the top right hand corner you guys can see that there was a little line there it is so indi it indicates that you guys can actually just swipe down from the top right to activate the control center from the lock screen but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to make a quick unboxing for the iphone 10 this is absolutely insane it looks super nice and i will be making a ton more videos regarding the iphone 10 in the future so if you guys want to see that go ahead and hit the like button right now and if you guys want to see more videos regarding the iphone 10 as well as a lot more tweaks that might possibly be released for example for the ios 10 or ios 11 jailbreak go ahead and subscribe down below don't forget to scan this outro or snapshot this outro to add me on Snapchat as well. And don't forget to also follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything that's going on inside of the jailbreak world. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.